The reason why I bought my Raspberry Pi is to play around with IoT stuff, connecting things together and controlling them for instance from my Android phone. First I messed around a bit with PHP and stuff, which worked, but it was really pretty complex for an electronics guy like me. So finally I found Node-RED, a very simple way to make a dashboard to control the IOs on your Pi. To me, really the best way to get started. The programming environment is completely graphical, and without any programming knowledge you can make basic web interfaces just by dragging and connecting nodes. In this video I will show how to set up Node-RED on your Pi. It's pre-installed in the Raspbian OS on your Raspberry Pi, but only the basic function is there. I will show how to access the user interface and set up the Node-RED environment so you can quickly get started and make your own web-based user interfaces controlling all kinds of things in your house. So to set up Node-RED, you will need the following. A Raspberry Pi with the Raspbian operating system, a Windows PC with internet, this to connect to your programming environment, a Wi-Fi router to connect your Pi to your Windows PC, and an LED and a 330 ohm resistor, this to test your first Node-RED program. First I will explain about the Node-RED environment. It is all web-based. When you start Node-RED on your Raspberry Pi and connect to a network, Node-RED will broadcast its user interface and programming environment via its IP address. You can access the programming environment from any device connected to the same network by typing the Raspberry Pi's IP address plus the 1880 port in an internet browser. For the programming environment, a Windows PC is most convenient. You can also access the user interface of the program you created in the same way. The IP address, port 1880, and then add slash UI. Because the user interface is basically a web page running in a browser, it can work from any device. Windows, Android, iPhone, Linux, I think this is a very strong feature of Node-RED. The Raspbian operating system already has a basic installation of Node-RED. You can start it in Start, Programming, Node-RED, and the terminal window will open. In this terminal window, you can find the IP address to access the programming environment. I note down this IP address and go back to my Windows PC, which is connected to the same network. Now I'm at my Windows PC and enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi in the address bar of a browser, 172.24.116.170.1880, enter. So here is the programming environment of Node-RED. On the left you see the palette with the nodes. In the middle is the canvas. You can make your program there by just dragging nodes on the canvas. And on the right here is a menu. But one important function is missing here. Manage palette. This function you will need to add new nodes in your palette. For this we will first need to install NPM on the Raspberry Pi. So let's go back to the Raspberry Pi and install NPM now. So we're back at the Raspberry Pi. As you see, Node-RED is still running. So we first need to stop Node-RED. We open the terminal for that and type Node-RED stop. So Node-RED has been stopped. Now we continue installing NPM. So first we need to update our system. And we do that with the following commands sudo apt get update so make sure that your raspberry pi is connected to the internet so it can get all the updates this might take some time now the update is finished and we continue with the next sudo apt get upgrade I will include all these commands in my comments say yes after the system update and upgrade is complete we reboot the Raspberry Pi
Raspberry Pi is restarted. Now we can install npm with the following command in a terminal window. sudo apt get install npm enter. Yes, I want to continue. The installation of NPM has finished. Now we restart the Raspberry Pi. Reboot. The Raspberry Pi is restarted. Now we start Node-RED again. And we go back to the Windows PC. Now I'm back at my Windows PC and enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi in the browser. And we're back in the programming environment of Node-RED. If we now go to the menu on the right, we can see a new function, Manage Palette. With this function, you can add new nodes to your palette. Go to Install. Let's add the Dashboard function. That's a group of icons with buttons, switches and gauges. We search for Node Red Dashboard. There we go. When you click here, you can find detailed information about the new nodes. To install the new nodes, click on install. Installation has finished. If you now scroll down here, you can see the new buttons that have been added to your palette. So let's now start using them and make our first Node-RED program. We will start setting up the hardware. Here you can see how I connected an LED to my Raspberry Pi. The negative pole is connected to the ground, that's the fifth pin. The positive pole is connected via a 330 ohm resistor to GPIO 17. For the polarity of the LED, the longer leg is mostly positive and the big part inside is negative. You can see the same setup here on my webcam. So let's now go to Node-RED and make our first program. So we'll need the following. First a switch and a GPIO node. And we will need to connect them together. For the GPIO node, we choose GPIO 17, you see. And for the switch, we have to first add a new user interface group. So let's do that first. We go here to the dashboard, we add a tab. Let's call it user interface. And in the tab, we make a group, which we call switch LED update. Now we have a group. We go to the switch. And we choose, you see here, the switch LED user interface group. Then for the on payload, we change it to number and to a one. For the off payload, we also change to a number and to zero. Now it's done. So to start a program, we press deploy. And you see the LED is already on. Let's see how this works from the user interface. We go to the user interface by adding UI behind the port 1880 and we'll enter the user interface. So here you have the S switch. So as you see, with this switch, you can switch on and off the LED. So the same user interface can also work from any other device. You just need to enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, adding double dot 1880 for the port and forward slash UI for the user interface, and you can control your LED from any other device. Now I'd like to give you some tips about Node-RED. First, Node-RED can start automatically at every boot up of your Raspberry Pi. For this, please have a look in the Node-RED console. Here you can see a command. If you copy this command, you open a terminal window, you paste it and execute it. 
Now Node-RED servers will start every time you boot up your Raspberry Pi. Then, if you want to use Node-RED on your Raspberry Pi, that is possible. You can use Chromium browser and type localhost.1880 and this will start your programming environment. But it's very slow, so I prefer to use a Windows computer for that. You may have noticed that there's no save button in Node-RED, but don't worry. To save your program, just select the nodes you want to save and go to the menu, click export to clipboard and here's your program. By clicking this button it will go to the clipboard and you can paste it in, for instance, notepad and save it as a text file. Loading a program works in the same way. You first copy the program to the clipboard, then you go to the menu, import, clipboard, you paste it here and import your program. This also works for programs that are shared by other programmers online. That was it for this video. I hope it was interesting for you. In the next video we are going to control and dim a real light fixture with a 1 to 10 volt dim interface and no dread. Stay tuned.